What's up, everybody? It's your boy David W. Back with the W's. I've got another video for y'all. Oh, fuck. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're going to be changing this up a little bit. We're changing up the style because I got told to do so by a friend. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to try something like this and we're gonna see how much better y'all like that but we're gonna be reacting to bruce new dead end job it's up here on the screen <clears throat> if you like the video like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell to be notified about all my future uploads you already know well let's get into this video shall we all right, now some of you may know that before I started in the business of drawing crappy stick figure cartoons, I used to work at a car dealership. And when I first started working Ooh, there, I okay. started as a porter in the service department. And being a porter sucked ass. Porter? You were on the bottom rung of the employment ladder, which meant you had to do all the shitty jobs that nobody else wanted to do. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess the toilets broke okay. down today, so I'm gonna have to have you manually scoop all the shit out with this tiny shovel and bucket. Oh, Ew. by the way, Bill had a cheesy gordita crunch yesterday, so you might want to wear like a poncho, oh. maybe? So needless to say, it didn't take long for me to be like, wow, this job sucks ass. I'm gonna work here a couple of weeks, and then I'm gonna find something better. But instead of doing that, I worked there for seven years. Oh, god damn it. And indeed, it did suck ass. It sucked so much that I got my friend Brewer a job there so he could be just as miserable as I was. Now our main wow. job as porters was to- Hey, hey, that's the strat. You gotta get someone in there with you, <laughs> shit. Check in customers when they brought their broke ass cars to get fixed. But a good portion of our job was just me and Brewer standing around by the tires and laughing like Beavis and Butthead all day long. <laughs> I guess. Shit. It's, it's pay, ain't it? Our boss would get all pissed like, oh, come on, guys. Don't just stand there. Pick up a broom. Ah, uh, okay. Pick up a broom. <laughs> now, most of the customers that came in were not in the best of moods. I mean, they're getting their car fixed. How good yeah, of a mood could you be true. in? Hello, sir. What brings you in today? Well, you guys sold me a Ford Focus that drives like old people. Fuck, that's what brings me in today. Okay, okay. <laughs> Y'all sold me a Ford Focus that drives like old people. Fuck. Oh my god. Right this way. But it was always what? funny watching Brewer talk to customers because Brewer is a pretty eccentric person and not everybody knows how to handle his ass. He'd walk up to people like, all righty dighty dippity do. What is it that I can do for you? What the hell? What? Honey, why is this guy it's talking like he's on. fucking Willy Wonka? I don't like it. Now, <laughs> Willy Wonka. this lady comes in and she's like, is Brewer here? He helped me with my car earlier and he was so nice. I just wanted to give him some cookies that I made. God, uh, wow. no, he's on his lunch break right now. Oh, Okay, I'll just leave these here then. You know, I just think it's so nice that you guys employ people with his special needs. Special needs? What? Oh my, oh my god, god, this lady, lady thinks, thinks Brewer's retarded. Uh, he's, he's yeah, he's not... one of kind. I try to keep an eye on him. He often gets very confused and frightened, but I try to do my best. But I'll be sure to give these cookies to his goofy ass for you. Brewer comes back from lunch and I'm like, Hey, what he's did you not... say to that lady you helped today? I don't know why. Well, because she thought you were retarded. She Brewer, thought you were retarded. She gave me some cookies. <laughs> she thought I was, what? <laughs> oh, hell with it. I got cookies out of it at least. Now, the other part of our job was to move cars to and from the service aisle. And you'd think that would be an easy job. But nothing's an easy job when it's 7.30 in the morning morning and you're a half awake severely hungover 20 year old kid my ass was barely yeah. coherent in the morning now one time i got into somebody's car and instead of pressing down on the brake i pushed down on the gas pedal instead all of a sudden the oh, car Jesus. starts revving up like crazy and my dumb ass doesn't even realize it i'm thinking of somebody else i'm fucking redlining the engine and shit i'm looking around <laughs> like who's the dumb idiot that's about to blow up a car engine off the gas pedal, you stupid asshole! Oh, I'm a dumb idiot. So I get out of the car all embarrassed. Oh yeah, sorry, I almost God. blew up your car. I don't know how cars work, apparently. But the worst part about driving other people's cars <laughs> is that some people are filthy animals. One time this car yeah. came in, and it was practically it's filled true. to the ceiling with old-ass McDonald bags and oh half-eaten cheeseburgers. Oh, ah, boy. sick, it smells like Ronald McDonald's asshole in this piece. So I'm Ronald driving McDonald's this garbage asshole. car out of the service aisle the whole time I'm talking shit about the car to myself. God damn it, it smells like Rosie O'Donnell's belly button in here. I can't stand it. Ew. I parked the car and all of a sudden I realize there's been a kid sitting in the back seat the entire time. Why is oh, there a kid a in there? There's a small child back there. Small child. What are you doing back there? So now I have to escort this kid back to the service aisle and pray to God that he doesn't tell his parents about all the shit I was talking about their car. Uh, so listen here, kid. I'm gonna give you this dollar bill and all that Rosie O'Donnell belly button talk's gonna stay between us, okay? But being a porter wasn't all bad. Sometimes we got to drive really wow, cars. Wow, he's like driving a kid. Like this guy that would bring in his sweet-ass Shelby GT. The only problem was 
I had no idea how to drive a stick shift. So there I oh. am, stalling this dude's Mustang out every three fucking feet. The owner standing outside watching me the entire time. Holy hell, just get out of the car. I'll take it from here. You probably just fucked my clutch up eight different ways. Don't you oh know my how God. cars work? But if you thought that was bad, it was nothing compared to- Why are you driving a fucking stick shift? What I did to these old people's van. You see, these old people came in to pick up their Ooh. big ass van that we just fixed. So I pulled it up for them. And since these people were somewhere between 80 and 1,000 years old, I decided <laughs> to back into the service aisle for them. Well, as I'm backing up, the overhead door starts to come down, and guess what happened? That's right, I slammed their fucking van through the overhead door like I was in a goddamn Jason Statham movie. Holy hell, Barbara, I'm having heart palpitations. Brewer standing there watching the whole thing. Yeah, who's the retard now, huh? <laughs> I get out and I have no idea what to say. Sorry, I don't know how cars work. I didn't really mean to ram your minivan through the overhead door like a psychopath. So needless to say, we had to fix their car again. And needless to say, okay. nobody wanted me to bring cars up anymore. Uh, yeah, yeah, we really can't have you flinging vans through overhead doors all willy-nilly. But I have good news. Somebody took a shit in one of the urinals so you can help out with that. What? <laughs> Someone took a shit in one of the urinals? Brewstew.com Okay, that's crazy. Oh, who did that? <laughs> Bro, imagine taking a shit in a urinal. That's crazy. All right, that was a good video. Bruce Dude's fucking funny, man. I love this channel. But if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified about all my future uploads. Oh my god, that was great. This dude fucking... Oh my god, he destroyed everything. <laughs> but I'm not gonna hold y'all any longer. It's Boy David W. Peace.